Steve Rosner was hired in 1921 as a fire department's mechanic and also a firefighter and worked in that capacity until 1942 when he was promoted to department chief. Steve was hired as a firefighter mechanic at the time when they were transitioning from horse-drawn to motorized apparatus and it made sense at the time to have a mechanic in-house because the uh, apparatus was prone to breakdown. That transition was complete when they sent the last team of horses out to pasture in 1925. When he was promoted to chief, there were 10 career firefighters, two shifts of five guys each, working a 24 on, 24 off schedule, which meant you spent a lot of time at work. The career guys were augmented by three companies of volunteers who helped out at big fires. Chief Rosner, I'm sure, had his share of fires, the biggest being the Johnson Tire Factory on Old West Main Street in 1955. Steve worked as a firefighter until 1942 when he was assigned to the position of fire chief replacing Joan Reinbold. He held that position until he retired in December of 1964. Unfortunately, Steve didn't have a lengthy retirement. He died in September of 1965. Chief Rosner's granddaughter, Susan Johnson Pesch, recently paid us a visit. A couple weeks ago, she stopped into the station with a piece of Red Wing Fire memorabilia that means a lot to us. It was the gong that came out of the chief's residence and uh, she was able to secure it from her mother and present it to the Red Wing Fire Department as a memorial or a tribute to her grandfather's service to the community of Red Wing. Until the mid-1950s, alarms were not only sent to the fire station but also to the chief's residence as well. At the same time an alarm was received at the station, a gong would sound in the chief's residence. This gong was located in the hallway of Steve Rosner's house. This is somewhat personal, but uh, Donna Rosner, Chief Rosner's daughter, was my mother-in-law's best friend. Uh, they grew up together and they spent a lot of time playing in each other's houses. My mother-in-law told me that when she was a kid, she hated spending the night at the Rosner house. Apparently hearing a loud gong in the middle of the night could be pretty scary to a little kid. <laughs> With that personal story in mind, having the gong back in our possession means quite a bit to me. The current fire chief has a strong connection to the history and traditions associated with the fire service. And with the help of some of the guys, he's committed to preserving what documents and artifacts we now have. To me, they act as a reminder that there were others who did this job before us that were just as dedicated, just as professional, and just as committed to protecting the community. Chief Rosner isn't known to any personnel that are now working, and the guys that he did work with are few and far between, but we can't forget his 44 years of dedication to this community.